up YouTube, it's MacBook here. Today I will make the top 5 of the best screen recording application for Mac. So uh, this is obviously my opinion. Um, so if you got your opinion, please comment below and also please subscribe and rate them 5 stars if you really like this video. So we'll start with number 5 which is Snaps Pro X. Snaps Pro X is by a company which is called Ambro Ambrosia. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, it's $69 as you can see right here there is a trial uh, guys um, I know you don't like paid because you need to pay for it obviously but uh, all the screen recording apps which are decent quality are basically paid so um, but all of them which I'm gonna show you right now all have got a trial and the trials are pretty good you can always check that out uh, so the trial of Snaps Pro X is uh, extremely good. I don't think uh, there's any huge feature difference. Uh, it's just that it's only for 30 days. So uh, it's $39, Snaps Pro X. Um, so I'll just start it up for you guys. Uh, this is a minus point I've got here. When you click on it, your real mouse just gets stuck. Um, and wherever I, 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 I hit the screen I cannot do anything else so I cannot go on my uh, browser or something like that it just blocks so snaps for X uh, here we go um, basically this is for uh, capturing um, a s screenshot so I'm not gonna talk about this I'm gonna basically talk about the movie uh, feature so this is basically all for uh, taking snapshots and um, here you can choose your hotkey, which I think is command. How you do that? Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. So here you can choose your hotkey, uh, the about, and um, I've got the pro version. I bought it a very long time ago, actually. Uh, so movie. Uh, so once you started the movie, I'm sorry. Uh, once you started the movie, you can basically select the area you're recording, and here are a few more options. Selection style, you can uh, say, for example, you want this size, fixed size, and fixed size, you can choose the width and the height, and aspect ratio. Um, so camera mode, fixed camera, follow the cursor or smooth panning. Uh, the frame rate 25 frames a second uh, microphone track which is basically the microphone a uh, Mac audio track which is this the audio of the system itself and if you want to have your cursor visible or not once you're done just hit enter action. and it says this little action thing and you can see this little red border which is basically shows you where which area you're recording so uh, once you've done, you can actually change a lot of settings here. You can choose the compression mode. Uh, for you starters out there, um, you must think, ooh, what what I have to choose? I mean, there are so much compression modes. So uh, if you're posting your videos on YouTube, it's recommended to put it in H.264, this one, uh, which is, uh, I mean, it's pretty good for YouTube, and it uploads a little uh, pretty fast. Um, so, um, the I mean, you can have a nice quality video, nice and HD, uh, if you're posting them on YouTube. So, uh, frames a second, keyframe, I'm not going to do that, uh, encoding mode, multipass, and here you can choose the quality, obviously, to the best for me, and then you can just save it. Uh, I think the exporting in Snaps 4 x is uh, pretty slow. So, um... Yeah, that's that's again a minus, a minus point. Now I'm going to show you, uh, I show you, which is basically, um free uh, well it's again a trial uh, I show you is by a company which is called a shiny white box uh, it is free trial the trial is uh, very good I must agree um, the trial has is a pretty good quality already and uh, it's obviously free and there's no time limit uh, the if you want to buy it there's two versions of it the standard version is uh, twenty nine ninety five dollars um, which is basically the standard and you just get the pro version uh, no not the pro but I mean the standard paid version because then there's also the paid version which is pro version which is fifty nine ninety five dollars uh, 
you can a lot of more features with that and the interface is a little different you can all check that out on their website all the links are in the description by the way so uh, I hope I'm not making this too long uh, I show you so here you go you've got I show you here the defaults mm, command shifts command A yeah the uh, oops sorry about that so the uh, default shortcut key to start uh, start and stop is command shift A so what I like about Osh I show you is got all these presets so all these presets of quality video for example if you playing World of Warcraft which is a, a MMO RPG which is a role playing game um, you've got a lot of presets here uh, 720 pixels which is mainly for YouTube and high quality high definition uh, 1080 pixels so um, here you've got actually a lot of options I think uh, audio quality, microphone input, microphone monitor, a uh, frame rate, frames a second scale, uh, quality, uh, compression, Apple animation. You can also choose H.264. Uh, there it is. Um, uh, mouse recording, which each frame it is captured, so uh, when it records your mouse. Uh, mouse click, you can basically add some effects here. A capture size this is 720 pixels so obviously and the countdown which is basically the time between uh, you're pressing the start record and it actually starts recording so um, for the rest it's all just you can select your area you want to record blah blah so that's basically it so I show you is pretty good